What's happening guys? Welcome back. Today, it's all about the welding cart. That's right guys, we started that welding cart a couple episodes ago um, and then I kind of back burnered it while we worked on some fiberglass stuff. Uh, but today we need to finish that welding cart. Every day that, uh, that it's not done, all my welding junk has to sit on the bench and I can't get any work done. So we need to finish that up so we can put the welder on it and then we can clean up the, uh, the chassis table and move the chassis back in here. So I have been working on it in the background. So let's run over there and take a look at what I've done so far and then get a pretty good idea of what we need to do this episode. All right, so here's what I've been working on in the background. Um, we, we put in our bottle trays last time, uh, but we didn't have any way to secure the bottles in there. So I could have ran just like some chains like everybody else does but they tend to wobble around a whole bunch and they're not really secure and they make a racket when you move the thing. So I want something solid and secure. So I've been working on this clamping system. It's gonna use a, one of these, these like kind of over center toggle deals right here and that'll clamp both the bottles in and then we'll put a hinge on the other side. Um, it's not quite done yet, so we need to finish that up this episode we also need to get a couple of trays in for like uh, for storage and uh, and build some hooks for cable storage. The other thing that I did is I got an end in ugh, over a trigger to bend up a couple of these uh, kind of filler panels. So these will get riveted in at the front there and kind of separate off our storage compartment from our from our welder side. Um, and then I've just painted them to match the welder. So. We still got a fair bit to do today. Um, step number one is we need to figure out where the hinge is gonna go on this clamp and then probably weld that right onto it. Maybe bolt it, we'll see. So let's, uh, let's grab a hinge and get to work. So that's what this is gonna look like. We got kind of the stationary piece and the moving piece. Um, so the two bottles will sit in there and this will swing back and forth and clamp them tight in there. Now comes the pretty hard part. Um, we need to put both bottles in the welding cart along with these two pieces, clamp them all up so that they're kind of where they need to be and then tack them in. But while we're doing that, we have to pull gas off of one of the bottles that's in there. So we gotta kinda be a little bit careful we don't get our hoses crossed or anything. So I'm gonna set that up and then we can come in here and kinda tack weld these in.
we let those welds cool off, uh, I'm gonna move over to do some woodworking. I wanna cut a panel like this. This is the one that the welder's gonna sit on. But I wanna cut another one to go in right here in this front kind of storage compartment. Uh, and that's where our TIG pedal will live. So I got some half inch MDF, I'll cut it out and then we'll prime that up, make a shelf. All right, while we wait for that to dry, I'm gonna throw a coat of paint on the frame as well. Alright, that's going to take a little while to dry, so I think I'm going to call it quits for tonight and we'll come back tomorrow and put everything together. Then we're back. Uh, left everything to dry overnight, checked it this morning, everything's, uh, nothing's tacky, so I'm going to call assemble it now. Let's uh, throw the wheels on it and then we can rivet those panels in. One thing I forgot to do was build something so I can hang up my lines in here. So I got a couple of these, uh, these are just bike hooks from Canadian Tire. They normally have this kind of gray vinyl on them. Strip that off and then I'm going to weld those to a chunk of flat bar that will bolt in right there. And then, uh, then we can hang all of our, our lines off of that. But I need to get the welder in there because I need to use the welder to do this. So let's fire that up and make a line holder.
it's obviously a little bit overkill for a welding cart, but turned out just how I wanted it to. Got the welder sitting on the left. Uh, underneath it, I got storage for like my my helmet and my gloves and stuff. Uh, we'll probably build something at the back to store like collets and, and tungstens. And then on the other side, we got all of our cables hung up, our foot pedal. We got our bottles at the back with our fancy holders. They're nice and secure in there. It won't go anywhere. Uh, and then we got all of our TIG rod storage behind that. So, uh, yeah, I love it. Gets the welder off the bench. We got a brake on that wheel so it doesn't run away from us. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to call the episode there, you guys. Uh, I'm pretty pumped with the success. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, next week, I think we're going to jump on to some more fiberglass work. And then we'll be on to the chassis. So, thanks for watching. I'm out of here.